Tess, let me help you. You can trust me, but you can't trust this Vincent guy. He doesn't care about you. All he's after is money. I appreciate that, but, um... He's a good snoot, Jared, and I think that he can get me what I need. Well, I'm sure he is a good snoot. But even if you pay him a pile of money, he's not going to do his best for you, and I will. You just tell me what's going on and let me help you. Careful how you answer, Teresa. One wrong word in you and everyone you love will be destroyed. Okay, I'm just going to come out and say it. Someone is trying to blackmail me and I, I don't know what to do. Too late, Tess. It's all over for you. Someone is threatening to destroy my life if I don't do what they say. Oh, Tess. And even if I meet their demands, my life's still going to be wrecked, so I just... I don't know what I'm going to do. All right. I'm going to tell you what you're going to do. You're going to let me handle this. I'll get you out from under the blackmailer's thumb. I really appreciate that. But, um, there really isn't anything that anyone can do. I need to do what he says. It's just really too awful to think about. All right. Just tell me this. Is the key to this blackmail what's on JT's memory stick? Yeah, definitely. I mean, that has to be where the blackmailer got the information that he's using against me. Now, if I could just get my hands on that stick, then I could eliminate the information that he's using against me, and I can actually stop him from blackmailing anyone else who's got a secret. Look, I love you. And I came back here hoping that you would forgive me. And maybe take me back. Now, let me make up for hurting you when I, when I broke off our engagement. Let me show you how much you mean to me. I'll take care of this blackmailer. I'll stop him dead in his tracks. All right. Now, first thing you need to do is tell me what this guy has on you. And what's your big secret? It's really complicated, and what I'm about to say, well, after you hear it, you may wish that you had never met me. Tess, there's nothing you can say to me that'll change the way I feel. I love you, and I'm here for you, no matter what. Jared, first of all, I can't marry you. Not when Ethan is available after so many years. But Tess, he doesn't deserve you. You deserve better. Look, Jared, Ethan is free. Gwen's going to divorce him, and we're going to be a family with Jane and little Ethan. And you know this is what I've always wanted. Yeah. yeah I know. You know, it's kind of funny. I love you so much, I just... I want you to be happy. Even if that takes... Ethan. Well, you know what? I'm not actually gonna... marry Ethan. I mean, uh, not yet. Why not? He and Gwen will be divorced. Well, I can't go into detail right now, but, I mean, one day we will be together. That I'm sure of. What the hell is going on? Oh, Jared and I were just actually having a conversation. I'm not talking about you and, and Jared. I'm talking about this text message you just sent me. What message? That I'm little Ethan's father? What? What? Is it true? My little Ethan's father? Answer me. Am I little Ethan's father or, or what? Look, we've been through this and I have told you that you're like 
a father to little Ethan. All hell is breaking loose out there. Everyone is saying that you're not in charge of Klein anymore. Well, how the hell can that be? Unless this text message is true. That I'm little Ethan's father and Julian isn't? And that means little Ethan isn't a crane heir? I get it. <laughs> this is the secret you learned in Rome, wasn't it? But you kept it to yourself. No, I, yeah, I, I wanted to tell crane you... Crane money and crane power meant more to you than your son knowing who his father is? No, that's not why I didn't tell you. No, how could you do this to me? I didn't go after Ethan. I just told Jared that, that he and I would be together one day. That's it. Honey, who are you talking to? No, I don't know. The test is losing her mind. No. no, how could you do this? How could you destroy my family? Now my brothers are going to go to prison? There's only the four of us here, honey. And you're going to show yourself to me. You're going to show yourself to me. Let me see who you are. Why are you doing this to my family? Why did you follow through with your threat? I did not tell Ethan that little Ethan was his son. I should still be head of this empire. I should still be in a position to help my brothers. kind of zoned out there for a second. I'm sorry. Jared, I, I made a really big mistake telling you that I'm being blackmailed. I made a very big, huge mistake. No, 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 I did. You didn't make a mistake by telling me that. Look, I'm not here to judge you. I'm here to help you. I don't think that's a very good idea, Jared. Look, I love you. I'm going to do everything I possibly can to get you out from under the blackmailer's thumb. So we can be together. Jared. Teresa, what are you doing with Jared? Don't you get it, Ethan? Tess has forgiven me for breaking off her engagement. She's taking me back, and we're going to be together from now on. Is this true? Is this true? Tell me you're not serious about taking this lying loser back. Hey, 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 watch your mouth. You're going to be swallowing your teeth, buddy. Oh, go to hell. Okay, just, just stop it, please, both of you, please. Sorry. Me too. Um, about Jared and me, the truth is... Excuse me. I wonder if it's the blackmailer again. Check your message, Teresa. Tess, everything all right? What is going on here? What's going on? Will you please say something? What will it be, Teresa? A life with Ethan and your children? Or saving your brother's lives? Um, <clears throat> Sorry, that message was just a reminder of something that I need to do. Ethan, I'm really glad you're here because um, something I want to tell you, there's something that I should have told you earlier. Teresa's choosing Ethan over Luis and Miguel. Teresa, what are you doing? I have thought it over. And I want to marry Jared after all. What? Tess, you just made me the happiest man in the world. <laughs> 